All right, well, welcome to our second ever 10 a.m. Collider coffee break. Um, just to chat a little bit with the community and let people know what we're doing. Um, so a reminder for everyone listening that Collider is a 501c3 nonprofit. We're based in Rochester, Minnesota, and we support Rochester entrepreneurs through events, education, space, and storytelling. You can find out more about Collider at our website at collider.mn. We're also on Facebook, um, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I don't think I forgot anything in there, but you can basically find us on all those things. So that's a great way um, to link up as well as in our weekly newsletter. So the weekly newsletter comes out every Sunday morning, um, I believe at 8 a.m. And it's a really great way to stay up to date with all that we're doing, um, including getting the links to this video. So that would be a great way. And you can just sign up through that on our website as well at collider.mn. All right, so I am going to turn it over to Jamie and let him uh, take it from here. Thanks, Amanda. So uh, just a few things this week that we would like to highlight. The uh, first is our first ever education program. Uh, Basics of Entrepreneurship from Idea to Customer is going to happen on July 7th. Um, registration will probably go out uh, another week or a little more than that. So uh, there's still time to register. Um, you can go to collider.mn slash BOE for Basics of Entrepreneurship. And we would love to uh, we would love to have you in the class. I, I, I've been really impressed at the number of people enrolling in the class, and I'm hoping that uh, we see uh, quite a number of new entrepreneurs resulting from uh, that class. So uh, it's really excited. I'm really excited to uh, to see that happen. Uh, the course is free, but we do ask that you purchase uh, around forty dollars of course material, which uh, actually I have props props this week. Um, are both these books, Discipline Entrepreneurship and the Discipline Entrepreneurship Workbook. And really, we're only focusing on a small portion of the Discipline Entre Entrepreneurship for this particular program. So uh, hopefully we'll see more as well. So we think that these uh, are invaluable tools that will help you along your entrepreneurial journey. Um, if you're unable to purchase these course materials, uh, we definitely uh, we definitely uh, have scholarships that are available to help you out with that. And those are, of course, need-based. So uh, feel free on our registration page, we have a link to, uh, for you to jump in and, and be able to request that. Um, uh, on the Collider co-working side of things, we're really pleased to announce uh, our first, what we're calling co-working specials. You know, we wanna see so many new faces here at Collider co-working and perhaps a few old ones back at Collider co-working. So for new members, we're offering the first month at Collider Coworking uh, for free with a six month commitment. And this is uh, perfect for those of you that maybe feel stuck at home uh, or maybe need a day or two a week just to uh, jump into a new space. Uh, or even uh, you know, considering moving maybe out of, out of your home or out of your current office location and into a full-time space. So we're really excited. Uh, we really wanna see a lot of new members and really add to our, uh, our community here at Collider Coworking. So for existing members, uh, we're also introducing a referral policy. So if you refer someone to Collider and they sign up uh, to uh, our, basically at our $110 a month starter desk package or above, you're gonna get 25% off your next month's membership. So uh, yet another uh, great way to get more people into the space and uh, getting, you know, allowing this sort of collaborative uh, uh, effect to happen um, is, is, has been amazing so far. So we want to just amplify that and, and see it happen. So you can check that out at collider.mn slash coworking dash specials. I have no clue why I did that, but for now it's uh, collider.mn coworking dash specials. And uh, just as a reminder, you know, our safety, the safety of our members is our first priority. So we want to ensure that your time in Collider is safe and a whole lot of fun. So uh, we are, of course, still implementing all of our safety protocols around COVID-19. Um, you'll see people walking around here when they're up from their desks, wearing masks, um, uh, doing a lot of good hand hygiene. Um, yay, Collider members. That's, it's been awesome. Um, so um, and then the last thing I have is, uh, you know, we talked about Sherpa briefly um, last week, just by happenstance, but uh, the news came out this week that uh, 
Chris Luke and Bill and Andy Big from Sherpa uh, have, have our announced their deal with our local TV station, KTTC, uh, where Sherpa's platform will be featured on KTTC's website, um, as well as every Thursday during the noon show on KTTC, a Sherpa will be highlighted and featured. Um, so that's a that's fantastic news for a great collider-based company, and we wish them all the luck with that. Uh, so head over to kttc.com. Uh, Sherpa is located in the right sidebar. If you click into that, you'll see a very, uh, a very similar experience to the Sherpa you know and love. And uh, I'm just really proud of all the work they've done. So with that, I'll hand it back to Amanda. Awesome. I'm wanting to look at my camera. Last time I think I was looking off to the side because <laughs> I wasn't quite sure where it was. <laughs> so hopefully now I'm looking at the camera. So anyway. Um, <laughs> So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, some upcoming events next week. I feel like July has kind of sped away from us. Um, so I wanted to talk about One Million Cups Rochester, which is going to take place next week virtually. I think this will be like our third. We've been in virtual One Million Cups since I think April. Um, for those of you who have never been to a One Million Cups before, this is a really great opportunity to check it out. It is virtual, you can connect in from your home. One Million Cups of Rochester is really a program out of uh, the Coffin Foundation, which is a Kansas City-based organization. One Million Cups occurs in 160 different communities across the US. And the really cool thing about it is that it takes place at 9 a.m. that local time, wherever uh, it's happening. So on July 1st, um, the next one million cups of Rochester will take place. So it's um, ours is the first Wednesday of every month and the virtual room will open at 845 um, just for allow to allow people to uh, make sure they're there before the talks start and give them some time to network. I you know it's a little weird to network virtually, but I think we're all getting the hang of it. So for those of you who have never been to a One Million Cups Rochester before as a participant, um, it's really kind of, we ask people to actively listen and engage. One Million Cups Rochester, it's not a pitch, it's more telling your story as an entrepreneur and asking the community for help on a specific issue that you're facing with your business and kind of get that collective knowledge um, from the audience. We really do encourage people to actively listen and to participate in a, in a constructive way for people thinking about um, sharing their story at One Million Cups Rochester, because it's not a pitch, it's, it's sharing your story. Um, people are always welcome to apply. We're, the organizers really are looking for um, groups that are a little bit beyond the idea stage to really get a good story and to really get feedback from the community. So just think about that when you're thinking about One Million Cups Rochester, um, and also you know what kind of innovation you have in your company. So for more information about that, you can go to the One Million Cups website at onemillioncups.com backslash Rochester. And that's one, like the number, milliancups.com uh, backslash Rochester. And if you're applying, make sure you're applying to the Rochester, Minnesota One Million Cups. We hear all the time uh, that people submitted applications and we don't see them. They've done it multiple times. Make sure you're applying to the right one. <laughs> And if, if you don't hear anything, let one of the organizers know. So this Wednesday, July 1st, which I can't believe July 1st is next week, we're going to hear from the Collider-based uh, startup, Fuse Financial Planning, and also ASER. Um, ASER is also a group we've been working with. Um, I think if it was in normal times, we'd be working with them a little bit more on, the, on this program um, in person, where we were going to help them host uh, one of the events. But they're launching a program called Creando Ando in the community. Uh, ASER is a, a nonprofit that um, is research-based Hispanic nonprofit, and they're launching this program called Creando Ando to instill um, entrepreneurial mindset uh, through design thinking in Latino entrepreneurs here in Rochester. So again, join us on July 1st. The best way to uh, find information about that is probably through the One Million Cups of Rochester Facebook page. So I would recommend going there um, to uh, get the Zoom link. And it'll also be in the Collider newsletter on, on Sunday. So that would also be a great place to find that. 
So the last thing I wanted to talk about is the stories on Rochester Rising this week. So this week we aired episode 181 of the podcast. And we actually got to share some audio from a webinar we did at the end of May called Inspirational Collisions with Lena Pradden namstick uh, Lena is a biotech entrepreneur who has um, a bioinformatics company that she's bringing, or a biotech company that she's bringing um, from Boston to the Rochester area. And the idea with these inspirational collisions was really to understand, you know, how people are building their business in Rochester, why they're building it here, the challenges they're facing, and what really inspires them to be an entrepreneur, as well as lead people with some tangible takeaway that they can apply to their personal or professional life. So check out the podcast, episode 181 with Lena. You can find it on Spotify. It's on Apple Podcasts. It's on the Rochester Rising YouTube channel. So you can check it out in any of those places. Um, also this week, we covered the latest WE Forum, which is a women entrepreneurs forum that's hosted by the Kabara Institute for Entrepreneurial um, Studies. And they were actually talking about certification as a women and minority owned business. So this isn't something I really thought about much before, um, but really diving into it. Um, again, you can read the story, but it, it, the bottom line was that, you know, if you're a women owned business or minority owned business, you really should think about becoming certified. Um, it opens you up to opportunities uh, to use the government as, as a client, as a customer. And we may not think that the government is a customer, but anytime they have to make purchases, a lot of their purchases um, are, are through bids or they have to fill some kind of, um, they have some numbers that they have to meet as to the number of women owned or minority owned businesses that they have to do business with. So it's a really great way to open up that opportunity, you know, not just for construction and manufacturing businesses, you know, things like professional education, things like clothing, shoes, um, health trainings, those are all things that government has to purchase. And if you go through the certification process, which is free, you just basically have a competitive advantage over, or you're, you're gaining advantage over um, other businesses. Um, so it kind of helps to level that playing field. So check out our uh, synopsis of the WE forums in article uh, format that went out on Thursday. And you can also check out that uh, webinar on the Rochester Area Chamber of Commerce's YouTube page. So that is all that I uh, wanted to talk about. Uh, Jamie, do you have any final thoughts before we close? No, just uh, I, hopefully it wasn't too distracting. Our, our alarm system went off here in the middle of everything. So uh, that's life in a co-working space. So uh, hopefully that wasn't too distracting, but uh, really looking forward to all the great things we have in the next uh, couple of weeks. And uh, just keep moving forward, everyone. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks everyone for joining us today. Um, if you found this video informative, a fun way to kind of connect with us, please share it. Uh, so more people can hear what, what we're doing, like it on YouTube, um, subscribe to the Collider's YouTube page or YouTube channel. That's really the best way to, you can help us and stay up to date with what we're doing. So thanks for joining us all uh, this morning and hopefully everyone has a great weekend.